Hey, what's good everybody? This is Echo Simpson. Thank you very much for checking my videos. Kindly like this video because the more videos you like and then you watch, then YouTube will put me up there. And when YouTube put me out there, I get a lot of people watching my videos. And that is how come I can't be able to be making a lot of videos for you to watch. So uh, if you're watching for the first time, kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you're an existing YouTuber, like, comment, share, and then, you know, tell your friends about this video. I know you are seeing me in another beautiful uh, dressed Obahima. Yes, in our language, when we say Obahima, it's a queen mother. Uh, aside that, you have been watching my videos. Definitely, you will know uh, Miss Moy or Auntie Moy. Yes, uh, we've been talking a lot, sharing a lot about her life when she moved to the motherland. You know, starting a business, having an adopted uh, child. I mean, we are all doing our best, you know, to bring some of these things together, to unite. Yes, Africa unite. My last video, uh, the Queen said, Africa unite. So today we are in the premises of uh, Auntie Moy's house, yes. And uh, we're going to talk a lot uh, about everything that has been going on with her being installed as a queen mother of the diaspora. Yes, we will talk more about other projects that she has been partnered to do here in Ghana. Auntie Moy, or Na, or queen of the African diaspora. Am I, am I correct? Yes. Welcome to my YouTube channel. No, you are, you're already Akwaba. part of my YouTube channel. Akwaba. Akwaba. <laughs> yes. Akwaba. How are you doing? Wonderful. Wonderful. God is amazing. Really? Yes. Wonderful. I, 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 I am on the edge of uh, giving God a try. You have to give God a try. Okay. He's amazing. I have so many testimonies. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Wow. First of all, how has it been so far from the, the first video that we did? We were in front of your house. It wasn't even completed. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, you spoke a lot, and then we came together, we started making videos, talking about a lot of things. Right. How has it been so far? Uh, even though we chat, we mm -hmm. talk, but how has it been so far with you? I mean, we are not talking about the, the queenship. Let's uh -huh. talk about your, your normal life. Normal how life. is it going? Well, God is amazing. I must first say, um, I just want to give you just like a snap of... You know, my journey. Mm -hmm. Okay. My life, as you know, yes, it's my normal life we're talking about, but it has changed, mm -hmm. you know, a lot. A lot, yeah. Yes. I do have my duties. It's continued because, mm -hmm. remember, I was doing what I was doing before. Mm -hmm. And like I'd say, you know, I didn't need a title to do what I was yeah. doing. But as, if, <laughs> if God has given me this title... And I was taking care of a hundred people, mm -hmm. or helping a hundred people, I should say. Let me rephrase it. I can now help thousands with power. Yeah. There's good and bad everywhere. But no matter what, I'll always say, Ghana. Yes. I am happy here. And whatever challenges we face, mm -hmm. like I said, you know, the whole world is facing challenges. Yeah. And Ghana is not an exception. Mm -hmm. We're not exempt from it. Yeah. So... But whatever it is, it cannot be anywhere compared to the Western world. To the Western so world. I am still in the right place, and we will just have to continue to do what we're doing. Yes. Um, you've given us a little bit of your journey right now. Um, let's talk about <clears throat> what you started when you got here. We, I know of the restaurant, and I know of uh, other businesses you, you are doing. Right. How is it going with business and then your life here in Ghana? How is business going for you? Especially, let's, let's talk about your, your restaurant business. Okay. <clears throat> well, right now, the restaurant has been closed. I have sold it because of my status. Okay. My status, it has changed. And because of that, I do not have the time. And if the food, if I, the Jamaican food is not cooked by me, then I cannot put my name to it. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So it has to be prepared by me mm -hmm. for me to say, that's my food, right? Mm -hmm. So I can't anymore because <clears throat> most of the time I am doing 
you know, my, my duties. I have to be at the Lands Commission. I'm um, often in Accra. Mm -hmm. If we have functions like funerals, like I spent almost a whole week in Accra. When the Accra Queen, she died a year ago, but the funeral was um, in last month. Yeah, last month. Last month. And uh, that was an experience. <laughs> You know? Yeah, but, I mean, yes. meeting all the, the other oh, queen mothers. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. My feet. <laughs> My yeah, feet. you are now experiencing it. You sit like this for almost an hour you, or you, two. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hour or two, and you've been walking, and you know, and you know, people are greeting you, you know, that sort of thing, yeah. and welcoming you, and you know, giving you, and yeah, it's been, it's a job. But I am enjoying it. Okay. I'm enjoying it. Okay. I can't complain. You see, um, as I said, I have small challenges. I call it small because this is, you know, you have a little itch here. Somebody may, you know, not agree or whatever you're doing. You understand? And they may try something like, you know, to <clears throat> whatever. But I'm mm -hmm. saying, I say to, you know, I say to these people that if someone tries to destroy you. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I st you stay calm and you fly like an eagle. And that's what I am. I'm an eagle. Okay. I stay calm. I fly high because nobody can go where the eagle goes. And I have work to be done. You see, the devil is working over time, but God is working all the time. And who he has blessed, no man no curse. So only God can be our judge. Yes. You understand? Yes. But so far, I'm telling you, with everything cannot compare. You know, I, I feel so good. Mm -hmm. I feel wonderful when I see people come and I'm able to do something to make their journey easier to Ghana. Good. And trust me, they're coming. You, you made mention of... They are coming and you are accommodating some of them. Now, let's talk about your Airbnb project. Oh, yes. <clears throat> yes. Yes. How is this? How is it going? Uh, do oh, you yes. get people coming in? People are coming in. Okay. People are coming in. Mm -hmm. um, I have sometime a person will come for one week, end up staying three weeks <laughs> or a month. Yeah. For this, I am truly grateful. Mm -hmm. You see? So, and when they come, they're, you know, most of them, they not only just come, you know, to take care of their business on their own. Yeah. I'm here, and as long as they need my help, I'll help them to get whatever they need. Now, let's talk about you being a queen mother. How did it start? How was the process like? I mean, I, I know you were doing your, your, your thing, like you mentioned mm -hmm. earlier, you know, supporting people and all that. And then, boom, you had an invitation, you had a letter, you had a call that this is what is going to happen. No, it didn't happen that way. They didn't call you? No. So what happened? Tell, t take us through. As you, let's <laughs> create a picture for us to see. So yeah. you were somewhere. Where were you and what happened? Okay. A friend of mine, his name is Paul Burke. Mm -hmm. He's the um, former, he's a former minister of um, youth and development in Jamaica. Okay. And he's also, I've known him for 52 years. Okay. He's the, my, the godfather for my first child. Okay. So we have known each other for that long. So he came to a wedding, to his son's wedding. And when he came, he called me and he says, I'm coming to see you. I was so excited. Mm -hmm. So I said to him, okay, okay, you know, what would you like to eat? And he said he wanted haki and saltfish, banana, dumpling and yam. Fine. You don't know. Oh, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. I had it. Yeah. I brought saltfish from Jamaica and I and haki and I and the banana and the yam is here. So, you know, I was able to mm -hmm. make his dish. But when he came, he came with an entourage that I wasn't expecting. Okay. But of course, I had to host them. Mm -hmm. So definitely did my job. Okay. Make sure they had water, and mm -hmm. f then they had a taste for the first time of what Jamaican food, ackee and saltfish. <laughs> yes. They liked it, mm -hmm. and then Paul, you know, said that they can go to the restaurant and uh, you know have mm -hmm. a good meal mm -hmm. because I don't know it really it stretch 
Yeah. But I don't think it was a Jamaican would say a full, a belly full. <laughs> <laughs> so while we were there talking and everything, you know, and so forth and so on, Paul said he would like to take some pictures. Mm. While we went outside taking the pictures, then the, the Ghanaian, they were chief sensei that I didn't even know. Mm. Um, I was meeting them for the first time. And then they start chanting and singing. Mm -hmm. So in my mind, I'm saying, oh, this is the way Ghanaians tell thanks. Yeah. And then they started powdering me all over. Wow, and just like that. Just like that. Nobody said, you know, nobody said anything to me. I says, and I stood there, and they have me powdering. And I says, wow, what a thank you. <laughs> yeah. this, is the way they, <laughs> this is really the way they say thanks. Yeah. But it's their culture, you know, so mm -hmm. I indulge. I just stay there and be quiet mm -hmm. while they do their thing. Mm -hmm. So after it was over, then I was told that I was initiated queen. And then the rest is history. I was uh -huh. the 28th of May. Mm -hmm. I was in Stood. Okay. The 13th of August was mm -hmm. the coronation. Mm -hmm. And now I am working. So what is, what is, what is your position right now? You are, we we want am, to know, we want to know your name and then your position. My, right name, now. my name is Na Boafoyena Oyen Mempese Tulu the first. Okay. Meaning I'm the first diaspora development queen for Ghana. Okay. All 16 regions, mm -hmm. all of Ghana. Mm -hmm. Wherever needed, I have to be. You have to be there. Your Started everything, yeah. you know, so now I just got my documents so I can get my passport. Oh, so I'll be able wait, to wait, 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 Nana, please ah. wait. Nana, please wait. <laughs> so the next move for you now, you've, you've got in your documents stating that you're the queen of the diaspora yes. here in Ghana. Yes. And that will lead you to getting your Ghanaian passport? Uh-huh. Well, I've got my documents now to take to get my, my Ghana card. Mm -hmm. And so I'll be a, um, I'm a citizen of the document. And the document say I'm a citizen now. Yeah. So you use those documents to get my passport, my Ghana card first, and then my passport. And Put up a comment. Just say congratulations to our new queen, OK? Uh, just say congratulations. Put, you know, put some, some nice, kind words. Let's congratulate our queen mother right now. And then, you know, there, there are a lot for us to do together. So, yes. um, now, what is the way forward with Auntie Moy and then you being a queen mother? What is the way forward? What are we doing to have this position, you know, extended to the brothers and sisters who want to come home and even the local people mm -hmm. here? Well, in everything that we do, it's going to benefit Ghanaians who were born here, mm -hmm. okay? And I personally, who will be fighting for the diasporans, to have the same privilege that the Ghanaians who were born here okay. have, the local people okay. that were born here. Okay. Like, the lands are leased, mm -hmm. all lands are leased to Ghanaians or diasporans. Mm -hmm. But the Ghanaians have 99 years, while we have 55 years. Mm -hmm. Now, we were taken away, okay? We were taken away against our will and we were enslaved and you know the rest okay so now we are back we are Ghanaians okay we would like to have the same privilege I believe that mm -hmm. you know we were entitled yeah. we'd like to have land and you know in in, in regards to um, the citizenship it is also something that I feel like we should come together and find a way we, to talk to the government. Because we in, will be in doing some that. other countries, like uh, I think Cayman Island or mm -hmm. something like that, when you purchase a land, it comes with automatic citizenship. citizenship. Yes. So I feel like maybe it is time for us, maybe myself, yes. Wadamaya, um, you know, all the great YouTubers out there who are doing their own thing, projecting Africa. Mm -hmm. I think it is about time we also speak, you know, in this, that uh, the government, I mean, there is, there is already a movement mm -hmm. where now South Africa is saying some African countries can, can go to their country without visa. Mm -hmm. Like previously, Ghanaians would have to apply for visa, but no. now 
it is easy to go. So I think, and then uh, Rwanda has taken taking part. I think Tanzania or Kenya is also mm -hmm. coming in. So mm -hmm. there's going to be free movement within Africa. Yes. And if that is the case, some of us would have Maybe. to come together mm -hmm. and preach for citizenship. Yes, we need Even to get... though there may be negative side of it, because uh, Ghana is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Everybody want to, you know, try and come to Ghana. Mm -hmm. Even within among ourselves, some doing some stuff in another country. Oh, since Ghana is free, let me go in and go and do my thing. Mm -hmm. So I think we still have to have that conversation mm -hmm. that when our brothers and sisters are coming, depending on what they are coming to, to do, do, they should have the, yes. the citizenship. So exactly. it's something we can all come together. Do agree. And talk Definitely about. agree on yes. that. Yes, we shouldn't be up to, we have to live here for five years, to my understanding, or keep renewing um, if you do get your, you know, your status, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. to live, you, 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 um, you, you have to be renewing it yeah, every year, which every costs year. money, you understand? So we need, we come to integrate, we need to have, you know, I Something. totally agree with you. From yeah. the minute you buy the land, you know, what we're saying, what we're saying, us diasporans, that we are back, we are home, so we should be treated equally. Yeah. And we are coming back, you know, not as beggars. We're coming back with something to give back, okay? And whatever we do, right, we will unite and work with the locals. They'll get jobs. We're doing businesses, you understand? Mm -hmm. To better Ghana, period. Yeah. To make Ghana from great, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. We, we, have, we have built the Western world <laughs> in two ways, <laughs> unfreely mm -hmm. and freely. Yeah. Okay, so we went there and we were slaves building mm -hmm. the Western world. We have built it. And then after they said, you know, okay, we're free now, we continued to build, to build. the Western we world. We did not come back. So nothing happens before the time. Mm -hmm. And it's our time now yeah. to come back, build our country, yes. Africa. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're here to build Africa. And to make Africa great. Great. Mm -hmm. And to make Africa a better great, place. A better place. For us to stay, for us to and, stay not and not to travel. Unite you know? and, you know, mm -hmm. and whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the things that I am trying to encourage diasporans to do is farming. Okay. We need to farm our own food. Mm -hmm. We need to farm. The land is here. And we need, the diasporas are coming and there are vegetables that we don't have here that you understand that, mm -hmm. you know, locals yeah. are not accustomed to. Mm -hmm. And they have to import it. And when it's imported, everything that is important, we don't know how it was grown, mm -hmm. right? The chemicals and all that stuff. So, you know, so we need to do our own farming, even our poultry and everything. We need to come back and, and do that. Yeah. When, once you can make your own food, then half of your troubles are over. Yeah, you don't have to you, you worry your head. You know. Yes. I think it's, it's also one thing food. that... The organic food. There's also one thing that the government is also trying to push a lot of people, even mm -hmm. the locals, mm -hmm. to be planting. Yes, yes that's yes, what they need to do. Because you have to plant what we eat. Yes. If not, we always have to, you know, import, import, import. And that yes. And I don't see why. I have a small story. I reap about five melons that I did not plant. <laughs> the melon grew on my concrete in, in gravel and on the concrete. And I see this lovely thing coming mm -hmm. up and it says, oh wow, it looks green and nice. So I didn't pl pull it up. When I check it out, it was melons. And these, you're talking about gravel <laughs> and concrete. How, yeah, how much and more How much the more the land. earth? Yeah. So we, the, 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 you know, the land is, very good soil, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. So you don't have to worry. And then there are times we have a lot of rain and we can also, when you have the farms, we can also do bowls all over yeah. to ensure that we have water. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah, irrigation R Right, purposes, yeah. of course, yeah. you know, so that's, that's one of, you know, my thing that I'm yeah. asking Darren Sporns to think about, mm -hmm. you understand? And, you know, also um, when it comes to building mm -hmm. yes we want to do schools that yeah. will teach you know the locals 
you know, to build the homes from mm. the, the Western. I'm not saying you and I'm not saying I'm trying to bring the Western here, mm. you know, but there are certain way like most of us, you know, the, the Ghanaians, they're accustomed to building um, a lot of doors and walls. Okay, so okay. you understand? Okay. A lot of doors, walls, it takes up a lot of space. Okay. You know, so, so <laughs> some places. You see like how this is kind of free. Okay. Uh -huh. so, okay, like like this one yes. doesn't have a door. Yes. This doesn't, doesn't have a door. Uh -huh. It just had Right. So and wall. inside, mm -hmm. but now, you know, you'd have a, a piece of wall here to you know, this is the living a piece of wall here, a piece of <laughs> a wall there, the kitchen has a door locked up. Yeah. You know that sort yeah, of thing. Okay. You understand? Yeah, so yeah. you you understand where I'm yeah. coming from. Yeah. All right, so this is some beautiful conversation going on. I know you're watching, uh, liking, commenting, and sharing. Like I said, if this is your first time, you know, subscribe. If you're an existing subscriber, just, you know, like. When you like YouTube, we show this video to the whole world. So kindly like this video and let's move on. Uh, before we end this, we had a conversation about a project that is upcoming. Yes. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Yes. Well, it has come and it has... It is now in progress. I am now a part of, of, of this. It's the groundbreaking was last week. It okay. started on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So the groundbreaking is about the Marcus Garvey Institute for Repatriation in Accra, mm -hmm. Ghana, for pilot-gated 200, 200 units for diaspora community. 200 units? 200 unit, units for diaspora community. Now, the founder is Chief Trevor Lloyd Beckford, and I am in partnership with this foundation. Okay. And what he is doing is building apartments so that, and you know, um, you know townhouses mm -hmm. and what have you, so that diasporans don't need to worry about the cost of building, the trouble to buy the land, mm -hmm. you know, and you're not here okay. to supervise your building, you understand? Mm -hmm. And all the d things that you would have to go through, second, third hand person, you mm -hmm. understand? Okay. You just come and you buy your home and you move in. And these are going to have, you know, all the amenities that you're accustomed to in the Western mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. So this is a real, real great for me. Okay. You know, I think it's a real Big thing. Big thing. So, I have this dicey question that I want to ask you. You may, you may want to answer or not. How is, you are living in Asebu now. Mm -hmm. What is happening in Asebu now? Among the African diaspora, and among the local people, with the chiefs, with the And I know 25th, 27th, they will be celebrating um, their festival. So mm. I'll be here to shoot the video for you to see how Asebu community celebrate their festival. So now the question, how is it, how is the living going right now? You, you, you may want to be frank and say how it is, just like that. I am, um, to be honest, I am small, 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 a little, it's not great. Okay. You know, a little small stuff, but I'm small for disappointment, eh, disappointed in some of you know, the actions of our people. Mm -hmm. I expected us to come and unite. Okay. And, you know, and even help the, the you local. know, the locals, you know, teach them, mm -hmm. you know, how to, that we're really here yeah. to unite with them and mm -hmm. not to, not to, not to break down, yeah. but to build up, you know, not to tear down, mm -hmm. but to build up. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's small, small, but it's, for me, it's not that significant. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I do not give it much attention okay. or I do not feed into it. So you don't want to give it all that life. Mm -hmm. If it's not that important, right? We don't talk about, we don't it. Talk about yeah. it. I'm just saying, mm -hmm. but um, we talk about the good stuff. Yeah. That's, you know? That is what we that want to talk about. That is what we want to talk about. The, the good stuff. Yeah, so if they so, are not ready to hear the good, the good stuff. The good stuff, but a lot of people are building in a sable. Yes. A lot of people are coming, believe mm -hmm. it or not. We're mm -hmm. having a lot of people, mm -hmm. good things are happening. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. In a sable, in a um, complete a sable agenda. Yeah. Right, right, right. So um, I am very proud. I'm very proud of what's happening. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So. 
We just give God yes. thanks. Small, small. Small, small. <laughs> kakang, kakang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he has taken us from a far way. Yeah. You know, little me, not expecting to be anywhere near mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. You know, and I've given him thanks for the opportunity. Yeah. Right? To do better for our people, to mm -hmm. do more for our people, yeah. and uh, hopefully, you know, to make change. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's one of my things. I want to make change. I want to make a difference, as I always say. Mm -hmm. I, I, I have that. learned one thing, one thing in 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 Inga. in Omanye. 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 And the, I, <laughs> I think the, the girl people who it, are watching this video <laughs> should come and write it well. Uh, I can't uh, hear that's it. how it is. I said right. Huh. I don't who even do, know what, what does it mean. Your, huh? What does it mean? How are you doing? How are you doing? Fine. Like you say, yeah. What oh you saying? I, I what you saying? It's you know. saying, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See? Yeah. So I am learning. Mm -hmm. I, know, I know more um, what you, um, Fante. Fante. Yeah. Like, bra, bra, bra. Come. Yeah. Mati, oh, Mati, I hear you. Yeah. I, I know, I know. Small, yeah. small. I'm coming. Kaka, you know? kaka, kaka, kaka. Obey. Yeah. yeah. Akwaba, uh, Madas. It, it's coming, it's but coming. at my age, oh my, it you think be, it's not easy hard. to be learning unless, all unless these you languages? Stay with people in the same house and they'll be speaking it with you. Uh, they do, they try. Yeah. Yes, my girl, she tries, she speaks. Fancy. But 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 what I use is common sense. If I'm okay. talking to her about the subject, and when she answers me, I says, "Oh, she says, oh, mommy, you know it." She don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mommy, you learning? She says, "You learning, mommy, you learning?" Yeah. But she doesn't know that it's common sense. Yeah, I'm talking, <laughs> you know, I'm talking about those. So she's mm -hmm. referring to yeah. whatever I'm in yeah. her language. Yeah. So I pick up. That's what she's saying. Yeah. So okay. she thinks because I answer. You understand, I but understand. you are now picking it. Uh -huh. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, I'm learning. Yeah. And see, but I say, Obiara or Risha video, see, Siari, uh, me use to make a say, Namas are end the video. But you are maybe so, BB. I know you are you're looking at me like, and see, uh, here now, no, 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 I'm an only see, Siana, wash a hand, a bottle of my like, a comment, now share them video with Yakasa Kakraf and Ne and his own as a queen mother of the African diaspora. And see, uh, you could do yari and kakakra and to also produce your fancy. And so once in a while, no, but I'm a fancy no baby but you mukre. Me nimda ya one fancy full baby oya watch me videos. And you say it's here as my American. I will throw baby to work again. And see, one last message on any day. Mhm. That's okay. I'm all yours. No. One last message. Mhm. My hand. One last message. And if she come running, I'm not my hand. One last message. Okay. To my fellow diasporans. I am still inviting you to come. Come, I would suggest that you don't pack up everything one shot and just come. Come, check it out for yourself. See if it's somewhere that you would like, okay? And because you don't want to be disappointed because to be honest with you, Ghana is not for everybody. Africa is not for everyone. Not everyone is able to come, and I know the roads are bad or whatever, so not everyone is able to come and see Africa more than just the roads. You understand what I'm saying? I see far more than the roads. You understand? I learn to appreciate more than the sky rise, more than you know, all the other stuff that we have to, we had in the, the Western world, okay? The, most importantly, in Ghana, I feel free. I am happy. I feel a calm when I'm here. I won't be driving down the road and worry about being killed, okay? I won't be worried about that. Everybody's black here. So if you're black, you don't have to worry. Once you're here, you know you're black. When you're in the Western world, <laughs> that's a challenge. If you're black, anything can happen, okay? Because, and there's segregation and all the eating and all that stuff. We don't have to deal with here. So I'll continue to invite you, but this time I'm gonna say, come to Ghana, 
check it out and see if you like it, if it's for you. And I'm hoping it will be for you. Overlook. You see, we're picking the best of the worst. This, we are in the world, and this is what the world has come to now. This is what we have to deal with. So we are picking the best of the, wor the worst, and the best of the worst for me right now is Africa. So I am still encouraging you and inviting you, come to Ghana. Check it out for yourself and give it a shot. Thank you very much for watching. Yes, Medassi. come to Ghana, give it a shot, Medassi. and then you might love it. Thank you very much for checking us out.